taking off like a Boeing. If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade. Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid. Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused. We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus. It's all about the price, just watch it move. Manage your risks so you don't lose. First hour of trading is all we need. Focus on the patience and forget about greed. There we go. How's that? Uh, yeah, on my coaching calls, when I do my coaching, which I had yesterday after the market closed, um, I switched my mic over to my other laptop. And so I just forgot to switch it back. So the only thing you missed out on was me saying how up the markets were. Dow 127. NASDAQ up 225. S&P futures up 35. So no one DTE for me today since the um, VIX is down. Bell has rung. Be interesting to see what markets do here. Starting to pull back a little bit. It's like new all-time highs for the S&P. So uh, S&P hit all-time highs and then came down just a little bit. It's coming down a little bit now.
NVIDIA up 3%, one of the stronger stocks. But S&P coming down. VIX down a little over one and a half percent. But a lot of red bars coming in here. S and P's job dropped about twelve points from its open or from a uh, its open after touching all time highs. In our second bar here. <clears throat> uh yeah, Chris cleaning some stuff out and found the webcam. So interesting price movement here. We've got big push up, touched all time highs, and now the S and P's come down about seventeen points in six minutes. VIX is now shooting up. There was a there was some data that came out that wasn't the greatest. An hour ago. Jobless claims, US retail sales. <clears throat> so we may get some See if we can get some volume bars here. <laughs> S&P futures uh, getting a big volume bar to the downside. Coinbase about halfway there. Yeah, those S and P futures already has a big volume bar. Coinbase getting close. <clears throat> A 
VIX actually qualifies for a one DTE. It's just about ready to go green. Don't think coin's going to get there. Coin just flipped green anyway. Tesla has a green bar. It's getting close to being as big as the first, but it's opposite direction as well. So nothing really shaking at the moment. I was going to start looking at maybe getting in a 1 DTE since the VIX spiked here. Also look for some mighty 90s now. All right, I'm going to get, I just got in a one DTE, so I will post that just because the VIX spiked. Still didn't go positive, but it was pretty close. All right, not seeing any volume coming in yet. So, see maybe some mighty 90s then.
MU looks like it wants to stay strong. We've got some stocks coming down through lows. Tesla? No. No mighty 90 long. Uh, Tesla, if you look at my screen here, it's got a big red bar. It's got a green bar and a small, which is smaller than the first, and then has a smaller red bar. So, it's, anytime you got that stair stepping down, it's not anything. The little red in Tesla, we looking at the same thing. The left of the huge red bar. I don't, I'm not I'm not sure what you're talking about, El Piero. Are you looking at Tesla? Yeah, and me pushing up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking. You don't look at pre market. Yeah, there's no mighty 90 there. It's a big, the first bars are usually the biggest, and then it's got a smaller green bar and now an even smaller red bar. That's that's nothing. Yeah, don't, don't look at pre-market. No mighty 90s either. Yeah, MU. I was thinking about jumping in early MU upside continuation, but it took off pretty quick. Yeah, I had mentioned that S&P futures were, was getting a big red bar. Um, bigger than the first. I mentioned that at the time. Wow, look at MU push up. A lot of stair stepping down in volume and um doesn't really lead to any many trades. <clears throat> you can see like NVIDIA just stair steps down. Same thing with Roku, Apple.
Yeah, Bob is getting a big volume bar to the downside. Yeah, it means a little bit bigger. Now, MU's uh, I, MU's pretty strong. <clears throat> so I need to see I would need to see a bounce in Baba today we trade the one DTE Yeah, I mean, Emmy is a mighty 90 technically. It's not the best, but I'll look at getting in maybe a little bit smaller in MU here. On the 113 puts. Trying to jump in here. Ah, it's trying to get filled at one sixteen. I'll leave it there. No bouncing, Baba. Now Bob is popping up a little bit. Do the hundred puts in Baba. I got filled at one sixteen in MU and one twenty three in Baba. So 116 in MU on the 113 puts and 123 in Baba. So I would close half my Baba at 135. And I would close half my MU at one twenty seven. Oh, yeah, I just noticed Baba's growing. Looks like it might get a big green bar. Baba's a downside volume runner. So hopefully this... Uh, let me put it on the screen here. Oh, NVIDIA with a mighty 90. Uh, filled at a buck 30 in MU. 
NVIDIA looks like it might get a big volume bar or a mighty 90, one of the two. Man, I don't know. That kind of looks like a mighty 90 to me. Oh, uh, no, big volume bar in NVIDIA. I'm going to go ahead and close my BABA. Till it's a buck 20 to close BABA. The reason I did that is because it got a big green volume bar. So just a tiny loser there. I would get out of another MU at a buck 40. Wait a second. What was my last fill? Yeah, buck 30. So get out of another MU at a buck 40. I really kind of wanted to jump in and video. Uh, on a mighty 90 there because they had a really nice price push. But man, that bar got just about as big as the first. Yeah, look at that. Look at that move down. Build that. A buck forty two. Close another MU. Get out of another one at a buck fifty two. Go to the buck fifty five. Get out of another one at a buck sixty five. Man, I should have went in a little bigger, I guess. I I went in smaller than normal. So looking for two red consecutive red bars out of MU. Looks like it's going to give us one. Yeah, see, Baba hasn't flushed yet. So get out there. Build it a buck seventy six to close another MU. Wow, oh, very nice.
I got three left. There's another one at a buck ninety. And that NVIDIA would have been a dandy. The bar would have just been a little bit lower, that green one. Well, that's that's how you get out of that's how, that's how you get a real nice uh red bar on a mighty 90 short. That's beautiful. SP starting to consolidate here a little bit. Netflix has earnings after the bell today. Go to buck ninety three. Close another MU. Get out of another at 205. Wow, filled at 207. I only got one left. Try to get filled at two twenty five on my last one. S&P coming down through lows. What a gorgeous mighty 90 in MU. So kind of an interesting price movement here. We had a really nice Push up, and now it's come all the way back down. Yeah, so there, I, I went, um, let's see, MU12. So I only did about Let's see how much buying power here. I only used 1300 of buying power. You know, I said I was going to go in a little smaller. This is the one I wish I would have went in normal size. I'm going to go ahead and get out of my uh, last MU. I get a second red bar here. Usually I'm in double that. Trying to get out of my last MU. There we go. Filled it at $1.98 to close MU. 
So nice trade there, $459. Yeah, probably would have been double that. Should have been. All right, what else? VIX has gone positive. I got to watch my 1DT a little bit. This is what I don't like about getting in when the VIX is down, which even though I made a spike up, it was still down when I entered. And now if it keeps rising. Um, no, no Mighty 90 and Goog. I need to see some volume pop there. Now, Baidu had a little bit of a volume separation there. Let's see, I'll keep my eye on Baidu if it makes another little push down. I might get in a mighty 90 long. SP coming down to yesterday's high. Yeah, Bob was popping up a little bit there. So S&P has given back everything it made pre-market. Little mighty 90 in Tesla, but it's, man, price is just not moving. S&P below the expected move. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if it bounces off yesterday's high. My one DTE hopes it does. Another thing with Baidu, that mighty 90, man, range is, the range is so tight. VIX touched highs of day. Step away and use the restroom while nothing's shaking here. Be right back.
starting to see some chop. Oh, and Nvidia is coming down to lows of day. So price S and P has been in about a thirty point range. As it pushed up and touched all time highs, and now it's come back down. Not many signals, like just. Really, no volume runners. Not really any good mighty 90s either. I mean, even MU is, I'd say, uh, really wasn't even a good setup. I mean, there was a little volume separation, but not a ton. So not in anything. Tesla may be getting a mighty 90 long. And it's coming down to just barely through lows of day. So I'm going to anticipate that's going to be a mighty 90 long. I'm going to need to see it come back down. Price. You can see it's already bounced. I would trade the two seventeen point five calls. Needs to come down though. Nice little bounce in Nvidia. Uh Tesla. Where my cursor's at. It needs to come down here. Doesn't look like it wants to come down. Not yet, anyway. Maybe it will next bar. Those are always hard to get into when you got it, you know, prices starting to bounce and then the bar ends up being bigger than the previous on a mighty 90 is hard to get into those kind
One DT is liking the bounce up 5%. So not a ton of theta decay yet. Now, if Tesla would come back down to lows of day, I would look at entering for a mighty 90. <clears throat> Premiums are an SPX for TLC. So there's two zero DTEs today. There's the AM options for tomorrow. And then the regular. So make sure you're on the regular. So you can get about a 50 wide iron condor right now, which isn't too bad. Not really seeing any good setups for continuation either. I see a green bar in Tesla. It's got to come down a ways. Full point. Just not much shaking today. Lift, not traded lift. Yeah, it's way too small. What else do you notice about Lyft as to why we wouldn't trade it? But why, why else wouldn't we trade it? What else do you notice about it? Besides... It being so small. What else? What else? What else do you guys notice about it? Just trying to teachable moment here. Any anybody? What do we notice about Lyft that why we wouldn't trade this mighty ninety? Somebody's got to have an answer out there. 
Yeah, I mean, look at the price. It's look at the range. From here, 13.39. It's, it's not even a tenth of a point. So that's why that's why stocks like Lyft aren't on my board because they're just too too small and their moves aren't big enough for these strategies. I mean, it's hard to trade when you've got a tenth of a point as your range. Now, I'm starting to see a little bit of consolidation here. Yeah, no problem. Always, always try to find teachable moments. Yeah, I mean, look at look at the volume in Amazon just flat straight across, and Apple, Meta, Microsoft. I mean, there's just no Roku. Tesla had this mighty ninety, but it was by the time it got to <clears throat> the volume bar got to where it was beat where where it is here, it it, it had bounced already. So <clears throat> didn't give didn't give us really a chance to enter there. So. Well, it looks like it's just one trade for me today. Um, it's coming up on it's 920 Central. So I'm going to focus on TLC before premiums get even smaller than they probably already are. So I will see everybody back during Power Hour. Have a good one.